In this video, we are going to learn about the Hacker Help Tool. Before installing this tool, let me give you a brief introduction. The name of this tool is Hacker Help. This tool provides documentation and utilities for penetration testing. In simple words, this tool helps us remember the syntax of the most common penetration testing tools, along with some SQL and privilege escalation payloads. Basically, this tool is still in development, and you might see some cool features added in the future. All right, now that's enough talk. Let's install this tool on our Linux machine and check out how it can be useful for us. But before we proceed, a quick disclaimer. This video is made only for educational purposes. Hacking into someone's computer without their permission is strictly prohibited and can lead to serious consequences. This tool is OS independent, meaning you can use it on any system, including Linux, Windows, and, for your information, I have used it on Termux too. It worked perfectly fine on it. Here, I am on my Kali Linux machine. First, open your terminal. This tool has the easiest installation method. You can install it with Python pip. Just type pip install hacker help, and it will be installed on your Linux machine. The process is the same if you are using Windows or Termux. In my case, after completing the installation, I typed hacker help in my terminal, but it didn't start. After analyzing for some time, I found the error. Our hacker help executable file was saved in our local bin directory. To solve this problem, you can copy this file into your path or simply add this directory to your path. The following command will help you do that. After completing these steps, when you type hacker help in your terminal, your tool will start. You can see that our tool is running. After a beautiful logo, it asks us to enter our target IP address. If you know your target IP address, you can type it in here. Otherwise, you can press Enter to skip it. Next, it asks us to enter the target domain, same as the previous step. After pressing Enter, you can see a list of different options. Let's take a look at a few of them one by one. Our first option, option 0, asks us to manually enter our target IP, domain, etc. In my case, I don't have any target. The second option is the port scanning commands. Enter the corresponding number of the option and press enter. You can see it has shown different useful commands, which can help us port scan our target using the most common port scanning tools like Nmap and RustScan. To return to the home menu, just press enter. There are many other options like subdomain scan, CMS checking commands, privilege escalation commands, and many more. For example, if you want to see some privilege escalation methods, you can check out option 16. Similarly, for SQL injection, check option 8. You can explore them one by one by yourself. Now, if you find a command useful and you want to execute it, you can directly type shell to open a new shell window to execute your command. However, you must have GNOME Shell installed on your Linux for that. All right, everyone. So this was our hacker help tool. This could be very useful if you don't remember tool syntax like me. The purpose of this tool is not to make you a script kiddie, but to motivate you to make such types of tools by yourself and not rely on scripts written by other hackers. All right, if you found this video useful, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It motivates us to make more content. And please do share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.